Hello and welcome to YouTube channel Technology Enthusiasm, where you get videos related to career tips, latest job alerts, and technology. In this video, I am going to share my experience of DP203 Azure Data Engineer certification. I will also be sharing some resources, tips, and tricks so that you can also pass the exam so without any delay let's begin but before we move forward if you are new to this channel subscribe the channel now so that you never miss any video on career tips job alerts and latest technology so the company at which i work it is a microsoft cloud partner and hence i was able to attend the recordings of the azure cloud week so actually I didn't attend the live classes but I viewed the recordings of the live classes. So after viewing the recordings I proceeded to the labs. So guys like you know if you or your company does not have any access to Azure Cloud Week what you can do is you can also go for any YouTube video with which you are comfortable and which deal with the theory as well as the practical part. So after viewing the theory and the labs that the instructor demonstrates what you should do is you should go ahead and do the labs by yourself. It's very important to have the hands on experience guys. If you do not do the labs trust me it will be very difficult for you to even understand what's written in the question. So after going for the labs my advice will be to go through the Microsoft Docs the link to the docs will be shared in the description of this video so actually it's not necessary to go through all the topics given in the docs but actually what you should do is you should just at least have an overview and try to see the quiz so basically in this exam i will try to give you some topics that you should be very much aware of so uh, those topics are Azure Blob Storage, Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 1 and Gen 2, Azure SQL Database, Azure Data Factory, Azure Databricks, Azure Synapse Analytics and Azure Stream Analytics. So these are the topics around which the exam questions and the labs rotate. I will also be sharing the YouTube video playlist in which specifically the exam related topics are discussed. So guys after you have accessed the recordings and done the labs what you should do is you should go ahead and try to see the practice questions. So basically you know the practice questions were available to me after I booked the exam. So see if the practice questions are available to you as well or if they are charging any extra cost for it. So after going through the practice questions you will be able to analyze like how much prepared you are and you know guys this is an associate or you can say intermediate level exam so the questions are going to be difficult than the fundamental exams so even if you scored low in the practice questions do not get demotivated if you have access to the practice questions you can practice them again and again and do not forget to see the explanation in the answer section so guys after going through the practice questions you should take some time and see the actual question so you know actually in the fundamental exams the practice questions and the actual questions are very much similar but in this associate level exam or you can say intermediate level exam what I found was that the practice questions and the actual questions were actually slightly different and the actual questions were a bit more difficult actually so if you do not see the actual questions it may be difficult for you to pass the exam actually so according to my estimate if a person has at least one year of experience with Azure he can crack the exam but if you have less experience it will be actually difficult for you to crack the exam without seeing the actual questions. So basically I will be attaching a link to the YouTube video which contains actual exam questions. So once you see the actual exam questions and once you are able to understand all the explanations that are given there then you are ready to go ahead and give the exam. So guys that's all for this video. Please let me know if you got any help from this video or if you would have wanted any extra information from this video. Please write that in the comment section. If you got any help from this video, please do not forget to like the video, share the video with your friend and subscribe the channel so that you never miss any video on latest technology and career advices. Thank you for watching the video till the end. By now you may be getting some related videos on your screen.
please do not forget to watch them. You will definitely get some help and useful information from them.